Hello, how are you getting on? This is my A to Z of Norfolk and Norwich. I'm a Norfolk boy and I love the place. This is my celebration of Norfolk and Norwich. I have left the county a couple of times. I had to go to Beckles once, and once I went to Ipswich. But we don't want to talk about that now. Some of us have a bit more time on our hands at the moment, so I thought I'd share this with you. So if you live here, if you've been here, or if you're thinking of coming here once we're all up and running again, then take a look and I hope you enjoy. So a good place to start then is A. I can hear a few of you going, I bet it's Hagel, I bet it's Hagel. Sorry, but it's not. I know it's a lovely little market town, but it's not the one. I have read that in the damn gate walk you sometimes see a kingfisher who's known locally as Henry. I know I dare if this is true or not, but if any folk out there could confirm this, that would be nice. Is it the A11? Is it the A11? No, I'm sorry, it's not the A11. That's a lovely road, especially since they dueled it, but it's not the A11. So what's A for then? As for a phrase, I round these parts quite a bit. And that phrase is, are you right? And it means just that. Are you right? I don't require an answer. You can say it fast. Are you right? You can say it slow. Are you right? Either way, it's a beautiful saying. So if you're still watching, are you right? Straight to the point for B, that's the broads. The Norfolk broads. Beautiful part of the world. You hire a boat, gently cruise down the river, over 125 mile of waterways. You stare in wonder at the windmills, pop into one of the many pubs. That's the Venice of the East. Hey, slow down. No faster than six mile per hour. That's such a nice place that even this fella sung about it. From my beaver to the Norfolk Broads. Yep, that's supposed to be David Bowie. But what song of it was he, though? What song was that in? If you know, you add it in the comments below and you may be picked to choose one of your favourite things in the next instalment. My favourite thing about the Broads, though, is this. That's a swallowed tail butterfly. The UK's rarest and largest butterfly that's only to be found in the Norfolk Broads. Interesting fact about it. The red dots on the tail that confuse predators into thinking that's a two-headed butterfly. That's amazing. There's so much choice for sea. First of all, you've got the cathedral. That's a fine Norman cathedral. It's got the second highest spire in England. And that's home to some peregrine falcons as well. And you can check out their live webcam from their nest on the internet. Steps away from the cathedral is a castle, Norwich Castle. That sit proudly above the city, overlooking the fine city of Norwich. That's well worth a visit. That's Coleman's Mustard, established by Jeremiah James Coleman in Norfolk back in 1814. Top place for sea, though, goes for a radio programme. That's the one and only, world famous, Canary Call. Tune in to BBC Radio Norfolk after an Irish game for comments and reaction. Hi, Keith. You're through to Rob on Canary Call. Hi, Rob. You're right. That's uh, Keith from Rat Keith. I were at the game today and uh, I tell you they were a disgrace. There's no fight, there's no heart in them boys. I've been a fan for 65 years now. I ain't seen nothing like it. I've seen no, more, more passion than a pigeon. The one nil down, they don't even look like they won score. I went home on 85 and well, I ain't had enough me. Keith, Keith, you are aware that Norwich has scored two goals in the last two minutes, aren't you? Oh, yeah, well, that's what I was saying, isn't it? They, they, they die for that badge, those boys. They'll do anything for the club. Oh, I'm proud. I'm a proud canary, me. What's that, Maureen? Oh, my dinner's on. I've got to go. I'll see you later. D's got to be for Darum. D's got to be for Darum. Nope, sorry. I know you've got a pub there that made national news for its grandstand during the 2018 World Cup, but it's not Darum. You'd think it's Bedelia, wouldn't you? That's got to be Delia, you're saying. I'm sorry, but it's not. She won a Britain's Best Love Chefs and Joint Majority Shareholder at Norwich City and probably the most famous fan, but that's not Delia. If it's not Delia then, what is it? Come on, where are you? Let's be having you! For me, that's got to be Delaney's. That's where I first met a beautiful stranger and went on to be my wife. I wonder how many other people met there for the first time and went on to get married. Make yourself known if you're one of those couples. That was a great pub, it was the kind of place you'd go for a quick pint at lunchtime and you'd end up still there at 2am. That was so easy to get barred there from the landlady in later days. Hands up who got barred from there. And for what reason was that? I still miss that place now. E. 
that's not the ADP, even though that's a great paper for all your local news and headlines, there's some cracking stories in there too. That was only the other day I saw on the headline on their website, and that was, I had 42 head jobs in my utility room. That's cracking stuff. Now, E is a serious one. That's about one of the bravest people to come out of Norfolk. That's Edith Cavell. She was born in Swordston. She went on to become a nurse and worked in Belgium in the First World War. She helped soldiers from both sides, saving lives without discrimination. She helped over 200 Allied soldiers escape from German-occupied Belgium until paying the ultimate price for this when caught by the Germans. I urge you all to go out and read a little bit more about her. That seems like a good place to start by the moment. There's a lot of good people out there that are willing to sacrifice a lot to help others, and that's very evident at this moment in time. So a big thanks to everybody still out there that's still working for us. I hope you've enjoyed the first part. That's taken me a little bit longer than I thought it would, and that's why I've stopped at E. If you'd like to see some more, give us a like. If I get enough, I'll do some more. If not, not to worry. I've enjoyed myself for now. Thanks for watching.